All right. Just trying to do a couple more things. I hope my audio is all right. I haven't streamed from my Switch in forever, so I'm hoping it still sounds all right. Because sometimes those audio levels get a little bit funky. But I should be at the point where we'll be able to just start playing and figure that out. Which is exciting. I wanted to do this for so long. And here we are finally. So. Here we are. I am super ready to do this. Swap here. This is definitely strange. But we're playing it. Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. It's the Eevee. Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. All right, I'm on my way. Ah! Ah! Lots happening here at the start. I like it.
was so cool. Oh, I love the way this is a floating island. Guess we're now. still in one piece. <sighs> Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Sister Bon, watch out on right! I take care of it. Kino handle left side. Not you! Those voices. Uh, are those? It's Kino and Nene. What are they doing <laughs> here? Shulk, we must help them. Of course. Oh, gameplay differences. Major differences, perhaps. Chain attacks are replaced with all out attacks now. You still use the party gauge to revive, like always. Yes, visions are gone. Which makes sense considering how the first part of the game ended. Skill trees. Skill tree system has been removed. Heck yeah. To the water. Pack of wolf. Ooh. Who next in line to get face full of mild down? Anyone so much as breathe this way? Rifle of Kino go blah blah blah. Kino, What's that an explicative? Nene, what hurt? was that? Blah blah blah. blah. Let us help too. Who? Funky. How very welcome. More is always merrier. Oh no, I can't switch. Wait. I can't. Duh. Boom. Hmm. I know what I must do. None of that. I like this. This is good. Mm -hmm. Typical Shulk layout. I'm okay with that. Monado Huts. They are all here. I think. Hold on. Is one missing? Speed, shield, buster. Cyclone, eater, and armor. Was it only seven? Now I feel like a dumb idiot. I can't remember. 
feels like one's missing, but at the same time it doesn't. Oh well. Hmm, tank. Place that with my, oh wow. Ooh, wait. Did they change the way that move works? Is this even better than it was before? I think it's even better than it was in the base game now. Hangry, wow. Berserk, the one I normally go for, which is this ether art. Nice. All right. Or a toast, rather than or a burst. Okay. That's besides the point. Let's go with this for now. I'm excited, and I will use Melia. Still got it. I think. I might be worse. I'm probably worse than I was before. Good one, Kino. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting. For children of here upon Ricky's household. No injuries, Kino. Hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So... Ah... So that is where the Junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. 
So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? Kino, follow Mr. Shulk from behind and do some sneak peekings. No, no, Sister Pom followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Ooh. Kino always look up to Dead upon. Want to become mighty hero upon too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. How did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way, can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so Dadapon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. Sister Pom. He's not scored Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino. Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay debt. Dad upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. You were alone? Is truth. One day, out of blue, Dad upon bring Kino home. Said, here is brother upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Kino, what happy they could say. That why, that why. That they want to become hero upon and repay debt to family. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, you know, must. You really twist wing, but fine. We're allowed to be sidekicks of Kino. Kino? Wrong word. Supposed to say, friends. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. Hmm? It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Porcino! It all starts here! Hey! Oh my goodness, Kino's backstory. That was 
so unexpectedly precious. Oh my goodness. Uh, event theta. Yes. Oh. Let's do this. Heart to heart. Pardon me. I just got here. I do not need to deal with you. Over time. All right, heart to heart. What do I have to do? Get to know each other in quiet moments. Investigate an icon. Uh, heart to heart, but it's just called a quiet moment now. Ooh. These flowers, don't they smell heavenly? Miss Melia is big fan of flowers? Yes, because of my mother. When I was young, she often asked for my help with the villa's flower beds. How about you, Nene? Nene also loves flowers very much. I see. Then we have something in common. Before, when I spoke of them to a Homs friend, she said flowers are nice, but nothing beats a warm dinner. I got no understanding from her. Finally, fate sent me someone I can communicate with. What Miss Melia say about dinner? Oh, just talking to myself. The dinner part wasn't really relevant. But Nene, big fan of dinner too. Most of all, pollen orbs from factory in Frontier Village. They so very soft and so yummy scrummy. Look, that's not. The on speak's gonna kill me. Hold on. Meme? When you said you love flowers, did you mean as a foodstuff? Meh? There is meaning other than? Ugh. I should have known. You're one of them. Nene, listen. Flowers are not simply special because they can be eaten. We can admire their beauty, or use them to create ornaments and works of art. And that is a great part of their charm. Ornaments. Mama! Oh yes, Nene, remember, long ago Dad upon made Mama Pond flower crown for give us gift. Ricky did that. That not one has hidden decks. <clears throat> in any case, I would like it if you also had an interest in inedible flowers. If you did, then you too, just like your mother in her own day, may know the joy she felt. Okay, the next time Nene find flowers that cannot eat, Nene will make pretty flower crown for Miss Melia. Huh? To eyes of Nene, Miss Melia looked most bestest in blue. What think? While I appreciate the offer greatly, weren't you originally of the regarding flowers as food persuasion? Meh? If you make pollen orbs from not eatable flowers, they bitter and not tasty. Yes, a fair point. It is just as you say. So knock on seed, different but equal value in flowers depending on whether they're edible. Maybe it was foolish in the first place to try and choose only one while discounting the other. Well then, I will humbly accept the sign of your affection. 
Nay, nay, Roger that. And yet, why do it for me? And won't Kino and Shulk feel left out? There is very good reason. Nay, nay, just want to see smiling face of Miss Melia, bright as sun rays. Oh, my. Meme? Something wrong? Nay, nay, not say anything weird. No, not at all. It was just how sincerely you said it. I should take a leaf out of your book. Me? Precious Nene, I look forward to the gift. Nene, pull out all stops. Although, I would feel a bit awkward were I the only one to wear one. Why don't we make them together and exchange them afterwards? Meme? That sounds wonder marvelicious. Is deal. No, in fact, is unbreakable promise. Yes, naturally. Even Melia just called her precious, so I know I was on the right track. Super precious. That insect. Aren't we just vicious? Uh, Ooh, he gave out armor. Good. Quite the scuffle. Yeah, that thing has gotta go. Trying to act like I've got all of the gear I had before, which I totally don't. I only have the arts, and they're not even at the same level I had them at in the main game. Yikes. Um, okay. Ah! Oh. Quiet moment up there. Uh, that's fine. We'll come back. definitely the healer whenever I remember how to look at people boom 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 absolutely I never did use Sharla much I know that's important He's got that headshot, or noggin shot, as he calls it, which could be good. Diffuses the feeling of panic from overusing arts. Hmm. 
I'll have to see if that's any different. It's alive. What's up, Mick? Chill eating on... Chill eating on work? <laughs> I guess you mean you're chilling while having some lunch at what work? Sounds pretty good to me. Welcome to the Xenoblade stream. Ooh. So many items to grab. Yeah. Hit this so many times. Did that even work? Okay. I don't know why I haven't been able to get that. But we're about to start another cutscene, so I'm gonna disappear again. rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. The Fog King? Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alkamoth a few months back. Hmm. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. Enjoy your alert, Mick. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be Hence ghost. the name. Ghost not shoot beams, dum dum. <laughs> so that's why you call it the Fog King. Oh, yeah, basically what I said. Hence the name. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the Hyentia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital, Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already costs too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go.
Hmm. Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this means we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the majesty. Perish the thought, your majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. Hm. I have no patience for wheedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the majesty address is burdensome to me. <sighs> if you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Hmm. Sir Gelgar. We really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> yeah. To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Kind thanks, Bird Mister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar. Hmm. This outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel Ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. <sighs> hmm. Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gilgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Sir Gelgar, thanks for this. See you friend later. 
please to be extra careful of self. The same to you all. Shopping and questing. Heck yeah. So that guy was interesting. He certainly was. Not very accepting of people. Hello there. How would you feel about assisting me in my research? Come now, don't make those faces. It's an easy task, I swear. I'll take the grimace as a happily yes, ma'am. Shall I? See, I've developed this tool for exploiting ether deposits. A common ether pick, if you will. And I'd like you to test it out. Hmm. You're still looking uncertain. Dumbstruck by my apparent genius? Huh, <laughs> of course. You're used to being able to mine ether deposits on the Bionis with the run of the mill tools, aren't you? Well, that won't work here on the Bionis shoulder. The deposits are too dense, so you need a specialized implement, i.e., this. Previous iterations of the ether pick were he pretty heavy machinery, though requiring training uh, and a license to operate. So to cut to, uh, through the rigmarole, I looked into developing one that even lay people like you could use right from the off. If you prove me right, I'll even let you keep it once you're done. How about it? Sure. You want me to hit this thing, right? Yep. Yep, just hit it. Give it a whack, you even said. Ooh, the camera zooms so quick. Reset. I like that. Give it a whack. I like Melia's attitude. She's looking forward to this experience of whacking an ether deposit. That didn't sound too good. Uh oh. And we broke it. What? What just happened? Caronel? Hey! Thanks for that. I have to say, I didn't expect it to break so easily, though. Right, give it here for a moment. I think Melia feels bad. I see, I see. So the problem is durability. Well, even I could have figured that part out. Due to the high ether density on the bionic shoulder, it seems it crystallizes into a form that's perfect for gems. Just reinforcing the pick isn't likely to improve the yield. In practice. Uh, thank you. This has been a valuable learning opportunity. I feel like I can take my research to the next level now. I did want you to have the common ether pick as thanks, but now that it's broken, it won't really do, will it? Well, that's too bad. I'll just have to give you the old retail model instead. Like I said, it's got its kink, so it requires a trained hand, but it's better than nothing, right? You should be able to use it to harvest decently high purity gems from all around the shoulder. Saves you time crafting. And that's actually very helpful. to level it up, which is cool. I like that. Oh, we can hit it again. Art seal, we'll put that on Shulk for sure. Start gymming right away. What the? Noise suppressor. How did I, how did I put that on him without noticing? Oh no, that's actually story noise suppressor. It 
cancels out external noise when piloting the junks. Where is it? I can't see it. Is it just very tiny earplugs? That's cool. I didn't even notice that. So the lock on. Lock on resist, rather. You are getting the arts heal. Nene, our tank, is getting HP up. And you're getting HP up as well. Awesome. Much better. What else have we? Maxis. Lobana. Why is it that things look cooler when they get stronger? It's even true for monsters. Still, I don't fancy ending up below them on the food chain, so I'd better get back to my crunches. That's... that's totally fair. Huh? Lena. Did I actually say that right? Lena? Or is it just Leonard? I think it's Lena. <clears throat> Need something? If you do, well, I am busy. Can it wait? Ah, uh, no, wait, I spoke too soon. Actually, I would like to ask you to perform some tasks for me. I would not normally reach out to strangers such as yourselves, but there is a limit to what I can achieve myself. I've received requests for assistance from some of the young companions from the younger companions, and I'd like you to resolve their issues. They should not prove too difficult, yet the volume of work was high, so I was feeling quite hairy. First, Gwyneth's request, which pertains to gathering plump wild grass. It has gotten rare lately, hence the task of it picking it is more taxing than it once was. Second, Failed this job of winnowing the praying caterpillar population. These in turn grew more and more numerous until their numerous numbers needed culling. Thirdly, the request from Lobot, who was tasked with handling a number of noble brogs. Those critters have also been breeding too much for our liking and need a little population control. So gather five lots of plump wild grass, subdue three plain caterpillars, as well as two noble brogs. I would be grateful if you could undertake these three jobs for me, if it's not too much to ask, of course. I guess there is three of us here in the party. So I guess it's fair. Hi there. Gave Shulk a nice little thank you there. Are we broke? 30,000. Enhanced version of the High Hentia armor. Or army helmet. I can't read. Cool. Hells have we? My name. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. And we'll hit that quiet moment as they're called now. Sunset. Ooh, look at me go. I'm on or something. Blade burn. Need their defense up. Buckets. Trouble buckets. 
Nay, nay. There you are. Something the matter? Kino's been looking for you. Something about stubbing his toe? Little Pond, never change. Nay, nay, we'll run back later and go. There, there. <laughs> You're a good sister, Nay, nay. Or maybe more like a mum. By the way, what were you doing out here, Nay, nay? Nay, nay, being reminiscing about Frontier Village, tiny bit. I see. So, that's where you were living before? Yep. In Pals, Nene always adventure into Magna Forest with Brother Sister Pond and climb trees every day. I assume you were the responsible one then. That silly question. Not Pon Boy's all good for nothing lazy bones. It all too much for Mama Pon to handle, so Nene have to help take care of Brother Sister Pond and Dad Pon all for long. <laughs> I wonder what Ricky would have to say to that. Dead upon, after he'd chosen for Village Hero Pond and set off on great adventure with Mr. Shulk, house become total pig's eye, hungry little pond underfoot everywhere. Wow, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, was this after Ricky joined us? So that must mean. Yep, before Nene become friends with Mr. Shulk and friends here. We actually meet one year ago, back in Frontier Village. Dadapon, stomach rumbly rumbly. Dadapon, need food. Dadapon, give crab. <sighs> You're kidding. I love that detail. I'm sorry. That's so true. I feel kind of bad about this now. Though... In my defense, you've really grown. It's almost like you're a whole different Nopon. In Nopon biology, age between 10 and 15 often experience growth spurt. That why, when compare Nene now and Nene one year ago, it's not too surprising if not realize they the same person. It's still quite a surprise. I never knew that a Nopon could grow that much in a single year. <laughs> Now Mr. Shog no can rely on post growth spurt Nene more than ever. <laughs> we can always count on Nopon. Us Homs could learn a lot from you. But Nene have these moments lately when get teeny bit lonely. <laughs> Mr. Shulk, such chow hound. Uh, I don't think that was me. Nene, prepare some grub. Too sweet. Now, now, Mr. Shulk, go Coquino and Miss Melia and tell to wash up. Really, that's... <laughs> we thought she was so grown up for always taking care of Kino. But really, she's just a kid. No wonder she's lonely. Mr. Shulk, something happened? Tell me too rumbly to moo, or what? Wait, I've got it. Mama? I'll round up all the others. Then after, we can all chip in with a meal. It'll be more fun that way. Mr. Shulk. Woohoo! Would not say no. Food time. Did I really pick up all the quests? No, there's two more. Ah, late hours. That'll do it. Hey! Hmm. Have you come here across Navir Highland? Then you must have met those ether based organisms along the way. To speak of the common monsters, composed entirely of ether. These ether organisms have appeared all across Navir Highland lately, and in large numbers too. 
there must be at least two points when they're spawning. Oh, two points they are spawning from. As their exact properties differ based on location. Anyway, I'm concerned. When these organisms gather, they create a strong ether field that attracts other monsters. If you haven't seen them spawn yourself, it's possible there is some prerequisite to it all happening that we're not aware of. <clears throat> if you notice a flock of these organisms in your travels, I'd like to ask you to eliminate them with all haste. Okay. Thank you very much. Actually, it's my little brother who told me all about this. He vowed to take matters into his own hands if the situation did not improve on its own. But as his sister, I'd prefer that he not put himself in harm's way. I'm sorry to trouble you all, but I hope you understand. This is for the common good. Fortune be with you. Uh huh. I know this is... I know it is no business of mine to be asking outsiders, but would you consider assisting us with a hunt? Some of our people sustained injuries while out on the last one, leaving us somewhat short-staffed. Goodness, they are carrying on about the more details. <laughs> Go down from here in the direction of the lake, and you'll arrive at Navir Highland, where you should find some Nakna X. Nakna X got here, huh? We were able to lure them out with the bait, or with bait, not long ago. Would it trouble you to defeat them and take some X iron? Yep, X iron hearts for us. Once you've finished, be sure to lay some bait to the west of Navir Highland. They won't congregate if we don't coax them out, and our hunts could do with the assistance. X are quite partial to rainbow carrots. It would spare us great, a great deal of effort if you were to find us some. Sure. Item. Give me. So many blues, and I already need them. You gotta collect like rainbow carrots and some plant wild grass. Oh look, rainbow carrot. We're already doing great. Who's this? You. We're gonna kick your butt. Prepare yourselves! Everyone! Do your best! Power a dead upon the sun through naming! I'm ready to without you bothering me. Yay. Be 
You should pass it way over there. I was trying to avoid it, but I did very poorly. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Fight you all. Go away. Yeah. Come on. Oh my gosh, da 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 It's here again. I see a star-searing flames of a Don't have any like really good attacks. Not like how hurt she is. Get up, girl. So you're supposed to be kicking way more butt than this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the damage over time keeps doing that and I love it. Bunch of important stuff this way. No affinity this time. Like, not between all the characters. Nene is the first female nut bomb we've had on our team. Right? Yeah, definitely. That's neat. Only four transmogs. But I'm gonna discover them, and it's gonna be great. Ah! You know what? Forget you. That's what. Right. 
Ah, I should have waited when I saw that. Still what? Oh, no, it doesn't have to hit. It's just gotta come. What am I doing? Much as I'd rather not, I feel like I've got it. I have some healing on the team. This early game kind of scenario. We won that. We won that quite well, actually. Top lane was super good. I mean, that's what you get for messing with the Xeno gang. Didn't see that coming, did ya? You dang enemy. Uh, shelter. Oh. High boots. An enemy brim princess dress. Pointed sleeves. Princess bottoms and knee high boots. Quite. It's all the anemone style. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, wait. I did the dumb. Remove. Now I'll put it on and then put the HP up again. Yeah, I gotta kick your butt, don't I? Hey, you gave me a heart. Beating it up. We're getting the hearts. Always good. Oh my lord. Oh dang, I used it up that quick. Enormous victory. Nay, nay, need more. More. Piece of cake. More this way. Ooh, lots of red. That's the X. But this is a path. I'm going up the path. I think I'll go up path first.
Uh, look at this game. I love this game. It's so pretty. The area music's chill. The battle music been funky. Just the way I like it. Oh. That's a gluttony. That shouldn't be here. But it wouldn't be a Xenoblade if it wasn't, so... There we have it. Ah, don't you fight me, bird. Blech. Run away. Ow! Run away. Key item. Probably making a mistake. Oh yeah, there's another one. Wow, I actually got to lose that aggro. You don't count for some reason. Why can't I fight that one? What else? Oh. Look at that. The gluttony. Now this is the spot right here. This is great. That one won't fight me, or it will, but it just won't be worth it. Down the path, because it's a kind of nice path. Item. And it's a path that leads to a necropolis, and I feel like running into a necropolis is not a great idea. A nice path, and then a necropolis. Hmm. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Let's grab this and try not to be spotted by a squirrel. Ether deposit. Can I jump? I absolutely could not jump from here. have to get away from all of those level 70s. Something right here though. Ooh, that was close. May I? Don't mind if I do revival HP up. Find resist. I want to just, you know, get all strength up, but I'll take it. Some gems are better than none. Gonna need a heart from this guy. Monado. Drop kick. Or protect from this punk. Hit him harder, Melia. Yeah! Ah, uh, delicious heart. I mean, yeah, no, actually, delicious heart. I'm pretty sure they're literally eating those. That showed that guy. And we're all done. And then they, yeah, lure us out. I had enough carriage. Woo! We're doing great, guys. I'm so distracted, too. I'm, like, doing all this extra stuff. 
Are there more wind things that I've got to beat up over here? There's a chest I never even picked up in all of the chaos. What, have I done that? Where's my quest log? Which one do I have left? Return. Exterminate water elementals. Okay, that's why I don't need one wind ones. Caterpile, noble broad. So there's still plenty to do. And a big chunk of it's that way. There is a big ether deposit up there. I can see it way in the distance. Because it's just so red and vibrant. Caterpile. You know? Maybe I'll just... Yeah. Water elemental. You better get you up. Oh, I'm in the water. You stay out of that water while I beat you up. Get encouraged. Just hitting it with the staff. I can cast fire if I want. We're crushing it. Caterpillar. Gonna be some uh, Holy cow. Laser beam. Think I got a staff for Melia. Not sure if I'll use it though. There's the frogs. And a water elemental. says this is the legendary Minarda. Did I just say Minarda? That's okay. Which is hard. Huh. Let's get across the water. Because Nene won't be able to swim. Yeah, hallelujah. Right about here should do. Manifest 
Sturdily built. <laughs> what kind of phrasing is that? <laughs> That's because you two are pretty sturdily built. Oh uh, yeah. You're using all of your defense. Oh jeez. I didn't need to take it away from him at all. I can beat this one up. Oh my goodness! How oh, does that hurt? I have no idea. I don't know if the game knows what the heart I used last time. Okay. That was a shocking blow. I did not know I was that hurt. Might have hit me with an art that I wasn't ready for or something. Item. Friends pass here. Please to hear story. Huh? I sense an ordeal in our immediate future. Meh. Gratitude for the stopping in tracks. Oh, what is matter? Matter is a bit complicated to be frank. Oh boy, here comes the real Napan shenanigans. Nene and Kino are precious, but this guy. Let's see. Just, just, just we wait. Uh, if we can help, we would like to do so. Although we've pretty much only just arrived here, so if it's directions you need, you might not, or we might not be the ones to ask. The issue is not about where go, it actually is about tracking down friends. Take it lost. They're not lost, no. They scatter to designated locations to perform ordered land surveys. What point of that? Measuring relative and absolute elevation of terrain. Flat distance and other such. Oh no! Completely forgot to do mandatory self intro. Qualified certified satisfaction, Garen. Garantified. What? Hot Inspector Tentu is name. Surveying lands. New lands is game. I'm not ready for this. Pleasure to meet you, Tentu. I'm Shulk, and these are Melly and Nene and Kino. Pleasure all belong to Tentu. My curiosity is a little piqued. Might I ask what a pond specter is? Question is extremely well timed. Pond specters is the name of an elite unit of Napan surveyors, and Tentu is one. Napan from Frontier Village? Surely hear Pond Spectre name said in tone of reverence at least once or twice. Um, Sister Pond, have any clues? Nene guessed that a Pond might know? 
It things were intent to thought. Long periods of suspended activity was disastrous for brand recognition. No, tribulation is only opportunity in full body costume. Go on, tend to put best foot forward. What is happening? I don't even understand what emotions are supposed to be coming from this Nafan. Tend to another pawn specter has actually come to Bayana's shoulder to conduct full and complete survey. But Chief One One, who is brigade leader, forget to inform of rendezvous points. So they tend to finish own assignment. Looks like up creek without paddle. Except all pawn specters in same boat. Tend to think we should probably go look for teammates, but uh with monsters carpeting land, probably even Excuse me. Probably even veteran pawn specter like Tentu have hard time. Apart from yourself, how many members does your team have? Nice round 11. Right. Round. 11, I see. This is vast land, so searching by yourself certainly seems dangerous. Do you know where your colleagues might have gone? Her tend to have couple thinklings. Two pond specters can probably find. Then maybe they have clues for other whereabouts. Alright, and then we go search for first two. No wait, single minute, Kino. Still plenty of important business we attending to. Don't do not get underfoot, promise. Friends look strong, so thought maybe can go with. That way if see pond specter somewhere along travel path, can help each other out. Is good plan or what? What do you think, Melia? Do you really need to ask for We help you look for Pond Spectre friends. Should really be Miss Melia that say that. Really? Oh boy! Dear ducks are tend to welling with joy. Thank you, friends. Can you tell us to the best of your knowledge where you would expect your colleagues to be? One was in charge of area between crossroads on way to Companion's Cape. All the way to Nathir... Nerthus? Necropolis? That one is a bit of a coward, so tend to not show he do survey job properly. The other one was assigned to area past Cragmall Caverns, stretching from the lake on the lefty side up to Pillar Knoll. Might be having a might be having case of screaming ab dabs at unexpected unexpected circumstance. So tend to like to put mind at ease. And this friends think tend to is some kind of freeloader. Let reassure. When push come to shove, tend to shove. I feel better already. Thank you, Tentu. Well, of course. Tentu most grateful, too. Oh, no. There they are. What is gonna happen? Oh, I'm going to take a restroom break to hope that this doesn't go horribly wrong.
We have returned. Oh. I can do all this. Heck yeah. We got a waypoint right there with two things at it now. There you are, you're right in front of me. What, what, what they do this time? Qualified, certified, only mildly terrified, Pond Specter Tate's uh, name in surveying new lands is game. But really, none of that matter right now. Tate is smack in the middle of cataclysmic struggle of life and death. Hmm, a uh, problem. Tete was sneak secret surveying, careful to hide from watchful monster eyes, but then made worse mistake of light. At end of Pond's faction, what little victory cheer slip out. Wow. And then monsters spotted Tete, monsters poised to lunge for soft, succulent body of Tete. Thanks to quick escape legs, Tete able to hoof it all the way here, but then grim realization dawned on Tete. Somehow Tete lose more precious than life protective charm. Tete think possibly could have dropped a ne Ferris necropolis. Just up slope here. Oh please help Tete to find dear friends. Tete is begging you. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, that's a good gem, though. Kind of worth. That'd be brilliant on Shulk. On Spectre assistance, in battle against enemies, Fun Spectres will jump in to help Shulk and his friends on their own initiative. What? Each Pond Spectre has a signature move, healing the party, debuffing the enemies, and so on. Red is offensive, blue is designated a healing, and yellow is debuffing. Blue is actually a little more interesting. Blue team mostly have a healing signature move, but not all of them. That's kind of interesting. So, high Pond Spectre tension 1. If you perform one uh, battle start affinity, burst affinity, etc., by pressing B at the right time, the pond specters may enter a state of high tension. So they've got their own tension? Hmm. Pond specters in a state of high tension will join in the battle with all their strength and with no slacking off. High tension will wear off with time, returning to the usual state. Oh yeah, Tenchu is totally right there. Like, actually. He's kind of just dancing around, but I mean, that's certainly interesting. That's the last one of the quest complete. Fights are going nice. Don't lose focus. We be enemy fair and square. No enemy can stand against us when we bring our might to bear. <laughs> That's because you're both pretty steadily built. Huh? Huh? Why the cold stairs? What Wait, a way to phrase is it, Chuck. Oh, here we go in here now. Already. Let's think.
thankfully not gonna kill me, but it's level 73. Ten levels higher. If that roll was reversed, it would be running. Ooh. So I was about to say, if I were the one ten levels higher, it would be the one running away from me. Ooh, that one attacks on sight. You know what? Maybe I'll just make my way right out of here. Um. Let's get that pond specter and then go back to that main camp. What, what, what? Can't they do this oh, time? Oh, for a friend's found. Oh, it is happiest day of the life of Tay Tay. Tay Tay was about was start to be a I cannot read not pod speak. Tay Tay was start to be afraid would have dangerous bad luck forever. And now we have a pond specter. Which could be cool. And physical defense down. Oh my goodness, yes please. Oh, you are talking. Path of surveying fraught with alerts and monster. But Tay Tay known secret art of sneaking and weaving between. Can tell friends all about juicy footsteps later. Looking good. Wrong button. I'm giving Shulk that defense down right away. Mm hmm. That's great. I'll probably try to buy armor too at this rate. It's her world staff. Or official staff. It doesn't have a slot, which is lame. It's hardly stronger. Now to here. Give me rewards. My little brother tells me the ether organism situation is under control now. It's thanks to you, isn't it? Thank you. We did it. And that gives us armor with gems slotted into it. This irregular spawning incident is only one of many unexplained phenomena we encountered here on the shoulder. All of us living here have to keep our wits about us if we want to preserve our peace. So you've returned with the Hex Iron Hearts? My thanks. These ought to revitalize our injured warriors. They may be hard to stomach, but their powerful medicinal properties are to expedite the healing process. Gotcha. And since you've laid out the bait, our next round of hunting should be relatively painless. We're very much indebted to you this day. Thank you. We're helping. Rudra. Poison defense. Heal up. Hurts heal. Kinda wanna go around back and get that deposit again. Um. Can't even wear that, so critical up. Can Shulk wear it? Not allowed. Ooh. Is he wearing the Rudra then? So they've like really streamlined the armor, which is kind of interesting. There's really no reason to wear it though. Because it's like 
exactly the same. Ooh. A hood, huh? I'm fine with lock on resist staying there, though. And what about you? Did you get something? Just keep sick. Very nice. Very nice. Friend shelterer. I can sell, like, all of those. Oh, Gilgar. Hi there. Got the one equip. That's his. He's using that strong one. Right? No, I'm looking at the price. Oop. They're the same. So that was the original friend shelter. That was. Kino's original weapon. Cool. And I wasn't really fond of this, even though it's slightly better. Actually, no. I don't know. That'll do for now. That stuff that was augmented for Melia was cool, though. Critical up's awesome. from here. A little bit of mining action. And then I'll go through that gate. Because we've got that colony to go look at slow. Ether protect. Very nice. Um, so before I get too excited, let me speed up the clock. Because I should have daytime quests to turn in. Maybe not all of them, though. Did I miss something? No. I'm only missing... S I think? Let me go over there. I think that's all I gotta turn in. Pretty, so much pretty game. So, not sure how much this concerns you all, but I'm still waiting on my um like shipping confirmation for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So I honestly don't know if we're gonna get to start on Friday, cause I bought my copy through the Nintendo store so I could get the like special edition and. They are just bad. So I really don't know how soon my copy will get here. I really hope it's here on Friday. But at the same time, I've started a new job. Like, tomorrow. So, Friday wasn't even going to be a Super Omega stream anyway, like I had originally planned. I did not expect to land a job and start, like, immediately. So that slightly changes the plan, but that means I'll have that whole day for it to get here. I'll certainly be hoping they do that. I am worried about it. I want it I want it here on time. But it's hard to say. 
can't say for sure as to whether we'll be playing it on Friday or not. If it gets, like, lost, I'll just have to buy another copy somewhere. I am super excited. It does give us more time to finish Future Connected here. So I'm not too worried about, you know, going crazy for it on Friday or anything. I mean, I want it desperately, but I think this will be great to play. I'm also, like, fairly certain this is going to be important to, um, 3. Just due to what we have of the themes for 3. With this title for this being called Future Connected, and such a mysterious and powerful enemy being up in the capital, I feel like this probably is pretty important. Is, oh yeah, there's a capital. Let's hear it. You okay? Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tummy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. Those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't, not at all. The high end here of Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy, Hat. Kino lose the other one Mama Pump, but still for a bounce. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. I did not even want to go potty alone. Sis! What the, what the, why you bring that up? They're completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino, not cheer up, Miss Melly. Agree to disagree. D -d 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 anyway, cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. Oh. To become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial Line. You have the power to end our suffering. Friends, thank you. I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Onwards to Alchemoth.
piece of crystal. My favorite. Give me. No. No. This can't be. Wait, really? Uh. What? Oh, come on. That's. That's not. Oh, hold on. Okay. You really have to work for it. I feel like that was a little more scuff than it should have been. I'm not used to such things happening in my Xenoblades. This place is huge, honestly. Maybe not huge, but still larger than you would expect. Let's see what deal. Evelyn. Qualified, certified, but fully booked, so hands are tied. Pond Spectre Evelyn. His name. I'm having a hard time reading straight. Surveying new lands in his game. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, friends have impeccable timing. Evelyn in dire need of help. Oh boy. Survey for day was finished, so Evelyn make to sit down on sitting spot over yonder for a well-deserved snack break. Was just removing tasty morsel from the knapsack, but all of a sudden, whoosh, splash, metal thing plopped straight into the lake. Or meal thing plopped straight in, oh my goodness. All gone in single eye wing, like tears standing under waterfall. Waffles, sardy, like and like scoff down every last piece of hard deserved footage. But no ugly fishy fish and carass of Evelyn and live to swim about it. Sardi will rude day it made enemy of Evelyn. Friends speak to Evelyn because felt urged help not upon in distress, right? Then please avenge poor Evelyn. Ha <sighs> ha. Oh, it's always something with these not fun. But I can't even be upset about this because I would be super angry if I lost my food. And it's happened. Like nothing worse than like dropping your whole lunchbox. Oh my goodness, or a whole pizza. I haven't done that thankfully, but uh I couldn't even imagine. So these will actually come up for a fair fight. Sturdily built. I mean, I'm kind of offended for them at this point. Hello, Mr. Kit. Welcome to the all the spoilers for the first Xenoblade Chronicles. How are ya? Meh, <laughs> meh, sniff. Oh, day of joy. Evelyn was a gog watching friends bish bashing smelly fish brutes. In fact, Evelyn feel a whole lot better now. 
Are there? No, is no use. Tum Tum feels so empty. No energy, even for a shimmy. But if friend's able to bring Evelyn Miro Cobb from wherever about, maybe able to kickstart metabolism. Not spoilers. You're doing good? I'm glad to hear it. And uh, this, this, um, future connected after story, like, has all of the, like, huge moments from, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 1. It takes place af a year after the events of Xenoblade Chronicles 1, so they reminisce on it a lot. But this is really cool so far. I'm enjoying this. Evelyn wolf down whole thing. Now it is time Evelyn make haste to finding one one. Come to think, life all about helping each other, no? Dread to think what happened if Evelyn collapsed on road alone. Clearly friends have obligation to ensure or assure Evelyn come to no harm. So take with and deliver person safe to wound one. Uh, though I must say, made good survey progress today, like in old days of cheat who established pond specters. Retired now. When one would step in to take mantle, practically only ever do charity work for Frontier Village. No pond specting at all. Evelyn nearly forgot what was even pond specter in first place. Okay, it's settled. Friends, all ready to set off. That it is time to deliver results of survey to Chief Wun. Level up. It said level up, but it didn't look like one. Also, congrats on the new job. Thank you. It should help me out drastically, because I need it. I just hope my body can handle it, because if it can't, then I'm back to square one. Or square zero, as it feels. So yeah. Oh. Sinbar Plateau. <laughs> Wish me the best of health and luck. I wish you the best as well, buddy. Everybody needs it, really. The Zephyr is counsel. So, I'm gonna do my thing. Hope it goes well. We're absolutely hoping that um, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 goes smoothly. Because they still haven't alerted me to my shipping of it yet. There's two days left, so I'm getting a little nervous, slightly irritated. But I'm still hoping everything goes... Oh my goodness. Hoping everything goes nicely. Alright, here's the thingy thing. If I get Kino in, we can do this one. Uh, that one. I, I totally hope it gets here on time. I'm so worried about it, honestly. But it does give us time to wrap this up. And this game has been, like, so fresher so far. It Look really is, isn't it? When stand on tippy edge, I'd go dizzy wall. Kino, don't get too close to the edge. If you lose your footing, you could fall. Here is much safer. 
Ooh. Strange view when come to think about. Clouds look like floaty fluff below feet. You're right. I don't think I've ever been this high up before either. Mama, a moment. If clouds are in direction down, this continent floating even higher up than clouds. Exactly. It's floating much higher up than Frontier Village in Magna Forest. Or even Aerith Sea. Strange, so strange. But why this island is floating higher than even clouds? I think I remember something from an old book. As I recall, the Bionis Shoulder was once inhabited by the Giants, a highly advanced race. There used to be many islands floating above Erisi, you know. You know, no. Teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. The Giants. They could process and utilize Hoverstone, a mineral with floating properties. Amazing! In Earth Sea, they gather so much Hoverstone, it left up whole continent. Actually, you might have it backwards. Maybe they took Hoverstone from here and transported it back to Earth Sea. Oh, elementary! Kino 220% agree. Of course, <laughs> it's best to take all this with a grain of salt. Huh? Until now, no Homs, or even Hyentia, have set foot on this continent. That's why the book's author might only be speculating about some aspects. No, no, it makes sense. Can be no mistake in theory of Shulk. Shulk really do know everything, just like Dad upon say. Oh, no. I'm positive there are things I don't know. Dad upon say, friend Shulk is brainy smart, know everything. And also brave and cool, and could do anything if he put mind to it. D did he really? I'm <laughs> actually a little embarrassed now. Nothing to be embarrassed about! It's only a good thing. He also say Shulk is number one sidekick of Dunaborn! Next in line of awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> good old Ricky. So on we go with our questing. What even is that? Why is it doing so many loopy loops? Dang, they're really posted. They are looking out hard. I want my ether crystal. Apple resist. Really attack. Ooh, nice. There's a punch factor right there. May I? Dag, got it. How rude. Oh, hi. Whoa, Plaza. I feel like this is where I need to be. Oh, there's that pound specter. That looks like kind of important, so let's do that. Yeah. Drop kick for the win. Things are going to plan. We are victorious. Did Nene not have sucks? Nice job. Deca deca. Qualified, certified, uncontestified.
Ponspector Tedeka is the name. Surveying new land this game. Dedeka really thought it was curtains for a moment there. Or the snatch life of Dedeka from the jaws of death. When Dedek or no. Deka Deka. I can read. When Deka Deka finished servicing uh, surveying area. A lit monster repellent incense it got from friend, but then monsters appear. It make no sense. Why on heck monsters not repel? Why attract? <sighs> when Deka Deka take whiff, realize it actually monster attractive incense. Friend must have put it in by mistake. Or this could be trial that fate posed for Deka Deka to challenge Rizzolo. Fate call on Deka Deka to defeat monster by own self. But Deka Deka do nothing, just call for help from passers by. Disappointed self. Well, in any case, thank friends for a well timed rescue. Deka Deka, not forget this kindness. We got another one, boys. By the by, did friends see Chief Wunwun somewhere, maybe? Deka Deka have to hand in survey results. Meh. Wunwun, rise in ranks very quick. Was once a rookie of team, but now Chief already. Very unexpected. Must be recognition for excellent skill in pond specting. Deka Deka must follow shining example. Is key of ten. Oh, huh. Is key of ten net. What a bebe, huh? Is key tenant? The pond specter organization? Oh, yeah, like actually tenant. Okay. <laughs> My brain was not letting me use that word in that sentence, but now I'm good. This key tenet of Pond Spectre organization. That good effort always recognized and rewarded. I need to be even I have stronger. become stronger. These guys give some good experience for their quests. I'm all for it. That is a big spider. But I want my oh. Nope, it can see you from years away. So tasty. May I? I may. Ooh, poison attack. I like it. The muscle up. Back to my running thing. Oh, what? They're back? Fine. Everyone, let's go! 
no, no, no. You're super important. Uh, I should not have done this, I should not have done this, I should not have done this. Uh, it's horrible. Oh. Can we? Yeah, that's what they Eh, got it. We literally killed everything but the boss. Oh. Oh, those chests are gone. That was a lot of chests. They might have been... Oh, no, they're still there. What? Game be immersible? What is that attack? Oh my god. This got one brutal art. What in the world? Hmm. That just goes to show me how spoiled I was by Shulk's visions in this game. I am determined to beat it now though. I will lure some out though. Now you shall witness all power. You do the all-out attack with them. And then I just hit that because I could for some reason. Uh, it's a union strike. Why couldn't I do that? I thought I could. <sighs> I was doing fine too. Uh, Manifest yourself! Manifest yourself! 
I'm dead? It's killing us that thoroughly and easily? What is that art? I know I'm one level short, but there is no way that art is going to ruin me every time. I'm not allowing it. Quite possibly need Shulk. one absurd art and I'm not enjoying it. <sighs> I'm not even targeted on it to see the name of it. It's half of the annoying part. Yes! 
so much AP. Wrong. Armor. All the armor. Never mind. I ate it up that quickly. Okay. I like these arts a lot. Summon Earth is great. That quickly. Make sure she can hold aggro much more easily. some way. I didn't realize I had so many. Okay, I can give him this. you gain AP like really quick in this you know after story I had no idea I had all that I'm still determined Bosses is gonna count. Once Nene gets 
Let us hurry onwards. You're more than enough on your own. What? Why? Is that all I'm gonna get? Absurd. I had the art on and everything. I just don't think I can resist it yet. <laughs> if Monado armor is not enough, because shield won't work. It's not a talent art. Ay, 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 ay. The fact that it's not a talent art boggles my mind. If Dive Impact 3 was a talent art, then it would be fine, but it's not even. I've got to put up my resistances to survive it. One more try, but I will skip it for the time being. Because I'm no... Definitely no speedrunner or anything like that. But we cannot be reckless. Have to practice that upon once Nene get back. Genuine article. Let's keep on the 
Still have the aggro. Oh my goodness. That's absurd. We need you, Soak. I'm not thinking we can definitely do this. All the support I can offer. Started doing that combo, so I just won't. Nah. Oh my lord. That thing is horrible. I don't even know if we got anything that was really that worth it. I still feel good for fighting it. That was 
was good. Nice job. Oh my goodness. Those spiders are leveling. Me? I died. Apparently you do because this is going forward with you. Victory is sweet as when you can share it. Nene need more! More! Cool! Let's keep this up! Let's press on to this next location, because we probably need to buy armor. I'm just thinking. Ooh. Ah, I was about to walk off the cliff. But I need to loop around. Oh, thunder, lightning, pillar no. It's a landmark. We got a landmark, everybody. We can quick travel here. getting all these key items for this person but still don't even know who it is. Oh, oh, you get speed up. Your fighting spirit is mine. We can definitely do this. Like there we go. Now we get to cross a bridge. It's a nice bridge. There's a lot of mat that way. A lot of mat. Super high up. Must be horrifying being in a bridge that hangs above the clouds in a thunderstorm. I would, I would think so at least. But maybe I am being a pansy. Meh. Meh. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Collectopedia. Nope. Actually, yes. Oh. Still nothing.
What goes here? <gasps> Life without visions. This will be interesting. Ah, Shulk. Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capital like this. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty, it's making me consider my position and standing. I see. My brethren, who transformed into Telethia back then, and those who survived, feeling the sadness that seeped into this land. And then, my father and brother's expectations, calling me the hope of the High Entia. I must be an empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. Much as I hate to admit it, I have not been able to find the right answer yet. Melia. Shulk, you of all people must surely understand. You who secured a future for all of us in that decisive battle. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately. About what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Hmm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along mm. well it's a good question but look you have saved me more times than i can count that did not come about because of your visions you used your own judgment and you chose to act did you not and thanks to that i believe i've grown as an individual as well <laughs> <laughs> i hardly think i said anything funny i'm sorry you're right I want my actions to have meaning, too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose, to all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Hmm? They just want you to be happy, right? <laughs> My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the High End here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words Father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother... encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear Father lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin, but a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land, nay, not only the High Entia, for the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. Yeah. If anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want, too. Shulk. Indeed, it'll be my pleasure. My, my.
Oh, it really is salt in a seal island. What is that doing here? Why did salt in a seal get all the way up here? Poison plus, I think that's one of the ones I need. I mean, I'm so confused about the shoulders location. Because no Hamza High NT have made it here before. At least not in recent history. Actually, I'll probably just end it with this cutscene. Ah, the Telethia. Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter! Over here! Huh? What is it? The transporter is running! So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. That's a little bit fishy. Big teleport. Wow. We're really here. Ooh. Yeah, that's certainly not good. Good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some weeding. Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. Wh what is that thing? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That fog king creature. Is it from? It's a possibility. In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and toe to face? Bye bye bye! Gotcha! Little joke there. No, no, big meanie! Oh. A child's voice. Where? Up there! <laughs> <laughs> A 
extra vertified. Oh my goodness, Pond Spectre Dry Dry is name. Surveying new islands is name or new lands. What brings friends around these parts? And Dry Dry secretly follow bird people from far away to near away. And would friends like to guess it? Dry Dry only go and find a bunch of bird people's feathers. Dry Dry gasps with some emotion. Why? For one simple reason. With feathers, dry dry make winged head hat and become bird person all own self. Oh uh, my goodness, can I even bother with you? For now, dry dry still not have enough feathers. Upper level and other side pick clean. Should be some left on this side. Is a dream of dry dry to become bird person. Please, for sake of dry dry. Bring feathers quickly spit. Topple plus, heck yeah. I'll take that absolutely. There will be topple locking. Alright, figure this out quickly. Cause that's insane looking. Quite honestly. Oh, shock's so cool. That was art, really cool. Tingle fog all cleared up. We can only hope. Look! The rift! It's... Oh no! Oh no! That beam! What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean... Mm. 
It looks like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Huh. No, no. Melia, Kino. Leave to me. Eat face full of pain. Be gone. King of fog, bright dust. <sighs> it is just as Max has said then. Melia, let's pull back. That would seem wise. Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsom said. Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather research material. But then, I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah. I was given special permission, so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister? Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back? Yeah. Oh, hey! My lab's over on the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. You wanna come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory? Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King, or the monster that attacked Teelan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked... Ah, oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Makes sense. Right, I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. All right, see you. Hey, wait! Uh -huh. He's gone now. What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> he gets told. He probably has it coming. He does. Thrice damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. Uh-huh. 
arts manuals. Woo! Ooh, you can exchange arts coins for arts manuals to level up your favorite arts. Uh, so you may obtain arts coins when defeating unique monsters in Pogbeath. Defeating a given monster for the first time will always grant an arts coin. Nice. Arts coins received for for uh, unique monsters and fog beasts you defeat before the shop opens should already be in your possession. What? Art coins you received for unique monsters and fog beasts you defeated before the shop. So like all the unique monsters in that fog beast I just fought should now give me a coin. Is that right? Can I check that even? How do I check currency like that? I guess I'll go to a store. I guess I could use this transport. I kind of want to jump off here, if I can. Huh. Nope, that's, that's a good plateau to look at real quick. Alright, all of you just do your worst. Switch out wind for like the ether one. The wind will actually be a lot more helpful. And got him. The shield. Um, too bad. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more agility than I have. Lame.
What? Oh, rude. I think. Oh, hey, what? Maybe that'll teach him to mess with us. Where to next? Ooh, quest. Oh, I'll, uh, might be able to survive that. We're gonna find out now. I fear I approach Ooh. my limit. Stay strong. Who are you? A feffle? Oh my goodness, an emergency quest again. Drop kit. Elia was getting beat on. Well. La Felele. La Felele. I don't know. Haha. I'm saved. Were you the ones that defeated the Antos? Please accept my gratitude. My name is. La Felele. I have no idea. I'm an army herder from Grandel, a town to the southeast of here. The army's just recently started running out of fodder just within the town walls, you see. So I was walking around trying to find more grassland, and suddenly, angry antlers. People tell me I get far too focused when it comes to the welfare of my herd. I should probably pay more attention. Alright, Grand Dev. Like I said, to the southeast of here. Um, head that way, and you'll see a big gate before long. It's a lot of nice, juicy grass here, so I'll pick enough to get my armies fed, and then I'll mosey back into town. Thank you for helping me out of a sticky situation. Things would have been really rough if you hadn't shown up. You don't think your armies would protect you none? It's hard to remember to turn my stream avatar back on. I like turning it off for the cutscenes, but I never remember to turn it back on. At least not right after it, that is. Shoot this way. Those quality look menacing sometimes. Yep, there's a lot going on over there. Days release. Days plus. Days plus three. Maybe I'll finally get Shulka's strength up. So there's aggro. Strength down. Am I allowed in? Wow. 
guess I'm not allowed in until who knows when. Kind of lame. Is this closer? I'm gonna have another restroom break. So I will return shortly.
All right, I am sorry that took long. Not only had I went to the restroom, but I also was saying hello to my family who's arriving back at home. Well, yeah. We're still in here. I'm still playing this. Because we probably have a lot of game to play before Friday. Hmm. If I, I haven't saved, like, all game. Thank goodness for autosave. What is that? When did I save at level 63? Huh. Just in case. Okay, here we go. Over the river. Can't tell if that pond specter right there is on the lower section or the higher section. Actually, I think that's all higher section. I'll find my answers for sure shortly. Uh, so, how are you all? Are you just as excited for this as I am? Playing Xenoblade Future Connected before we play Xenoblade 3. Who are you and why? You're about to get drop kicked. You ain't even gonna know what happened. The royal drop kick. Yeah, that seems like that's up there. Absolutely up there. Uh, you think you're gonna get away with guarding that, eh? Yeah. Get your defenses lowered. Ooh, caught minions. That was unexpected. Spammed off my stuff because I was honestly unaware of that. What kept my Let's stay focused. My talent art lasted for a while. Is that finally a good staff for her? Oh yeah. The minimum's lower and it has a lower crit. Not the best by far, but we'll get there. Uh, I wish I could have gotten chill attack. I see poison attack, or poison... I think it's actually that. Yeah, poison plus. So I need chill plus. Or flare plus, flame plus, fire plus, I don't know what it'll be called. I have forgotten. Attack may lower enemy strength. Friend shelter rare. Ooh. Heck yeah. That's great.
Um, should we give you the strength down? Because that's like defensive -y stuff. Boom. Boom. Oh my goodness. I might need a new controller. I don't know if I'll be able to afford one, but it might be nice to see if I can before Xenoblade 3. Help. HP up 3. I think that'll be good to have on her. Still nothing. Glad she got that weapon, that's amazing. Then we'll be able to sell all the other junk. There's a pond specter over here. I'll absolutely go get into that. Fofora? Qualified, certified, making world more purified. Purdified? Pond Spectre Fofora is his name. Surveying new lands is game. Ooh, why are you surprised Fofora like that? Made Fofora recite whole Pond Spectre's spiel and now survey in big shambles. How are friends going to make up for. eh? Hope not thinking can make Teensy apology just walking away. Both are going to have to ask help with small matter. Then we'll let friends off proverbial fish hook. Ah, uh, so friends will listen. Oh, goody. Both are new friends were citizens of upstanding moral character. Small matter is nuisance. Kromar on other side of Zen's thoroughfare. The right hand side. They keep getting him way of Fofora. Fofora is still busy mapping out area. So it would be giant help if friends could remove Kromar from picture, please. Yeah! Right hand side, yeah? So they should be nearby. Uh, right. I'll get to it eventually. Huh. <laughs> Looks horrifying to fall into. I'll move on through here. My brother, he's gone missing. If you find anything that looks like it could be a clue, please show me. Okay. There they are. Go get them. Those pants back are so crazy. Hey,
Oh, no, you don't. I'm here to do the hurting, not get hurt. Flat. Was that it? Yeah, that's all I had to do. Very nice. I'm loving this. I'm not loving that too much, though. That's scary. Don't turn around. They turned around. They are still on me. Gotta have all the punks back here before I'm allowed to all out attack, huh? Not good. Of course, both would be running around. Uh. Oh, girl. We need her. We need her a lot. Uh, uh. <laughs> We can do it. We can do it. These punk backers are not doing a lot of healing. I really wish I stood in as like a decent source of healing. <laughs> Whatever. I'll go back for the gems later. Got a new pond specter, and that's what's like most exciting, I think. Meh, Chromar Toast. Big hooray. Now Fafarag. Free to continue with surveying on Cinder. Oh, I thought Fofra was busy in the middle of surveying. Where friends get that idea? Such silly dumbs. Wow. No, Fafra are just going out to Ponspec now. But friends did a very speedy job, and Fofra give credit where credit due. We'll prepare a handsome reward later, so come by and Fofra will deliver personal. Fofra thinking of venture further afield, beyond even den of Chromar that friends fend on. Say hello and friends next feel inclined, okay? Ta ta na. Wow. Some relaxing area music, just the way I like it. AP now. Yeah. Summon wind. I 
I like the ones that have damage over time. Which is why I use Flare, Earth, and Ice. Ice would probably be good to replace though. Because that's actually not a lot of chill time at all. Flare's way better for that. Whoops. I want to set wind. And then... Boom. Boom. Like that. Get back to leveling them. Earth is done. Summon Flare was done. So now we'll switch to... Wind. First end is great. I feel like Starlight kicks the one that needs a little help. Blue Downs 28 seconds, Spear Break it's 20 seconds. And Let's put that in that. Boom. Heck yeah. Show your turn. We'll worry about Monado Arts first. Speed. Maybe. I don't know. Definitely armor first, actually. Because we know that's super helpful all the time. And we'll go for speed. Ooh. Oh, these are ready to go. I didn't realize that. We don't need an arts manual for those. Okay. I want to think shield's still great, but now I have to, like, know the monster. Which is fine and normal. I just have to, like, know when it's using a talent art. Let's do it, though. Just the one. Next, I'll do... I feel like I'm knocking Eater, because if anything puts on physical defense... We can strip that off. So far I was able to pounce back to the whole area without itch. Again, the work of friends was much appreciated. Incidentally, Fulfurra might have other teensy easy requests. It involves escorting Fulfurra personally to Chief 11. 
Chief one when his chief of whole upon Spectre Quad Squad. Said shoulder of Bionis is right for treasure pickings. If stick around long enough, Fofra could be rich beyond wildish dream. Oh, Fofra can smell the fame. And not excite for friends too? Believe Fofra, it'll all become clear once friends hear straight from mouth of chief. the looks of this lab. Sky Bridge. How many times have I told you you do not go there alone? But I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <gasps> Tyrea? Melia? Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis. Tyrea's your big sis. Hmm. Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Ugh, oh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble, truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea, I didn't expect to see you here. Helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well. Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters, then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. She... she was... <laughs> she was strong. Both in body, and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Folk King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. 
Before the Fog King showed up. Yeah, and then after we all escaped, I was kind of on my own. So Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Jeez. Is that so? I'm sorry. Teelan just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Teelan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. Shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too. Kino, please read room. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance. After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia. And survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. Or so I thought. Until fate had me save Teelan, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother. She did not grant you a dying place. She gave you our future by crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High Entia, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress, now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. This guy is a little naughty. Miss Molly, you here? Did you learn anything from Teelan? Hmm, a little. He said that for all the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meeting should be no problem. Teelan say he sent word to guard at Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radzum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. 
This will sound selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. Kino, too. And also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go. Quiet moment over there. Get it. I definitely want the ether crystal. I've seen on this island. No, the pond specters are here. You're just ah, you're Pororo. Mimi, what Pororo do? One Pororo is extremely not enough to collect. Meh. Our friends may be travel persons? That great. Pororo have requests that would be perfect for travel persons. Mm. Pororo come to Bayana's shoulder by flying with certain esteemed person in basket attached to Petrix or Terex, the peace silent. But there was a big hole in basket in vital food stuff that Pororo bring. It all strewn across land from sky high. P Pororo, eh, Pororo admit, was a bit of careless on own side to not notice sooner. But when boss realized flying into terrible rage, it was a crucial asset to for sell in darkest hour of crisis. Uh, Pororo, go and pick back up now. That was exact order. Stuff that end up scattered all over by Anna's shoulder is Fave of Pororo. So we'd love to gather up for sure. But by Anna's shoulder, also full of terrible monsters wandering about. Pororo forced to reckon with own limitations. So extend ask to friend travel persons. Please would friends mind gathering up Pororo's favorite wherever find How many? Oh my goodness, I've got six of twenty. Oh. Okay. Pick up all of his huge job. So Pororo give rewards on ongoing basis in proportion to number found. One moment.
back are we back? Okay. All is unmuted. Got a ribbon. Nice. I think that was for Nene. Yeah. Let's quit with a strength up, which is more than the current one has. Very nice. Good. Nene becomes stronger. Literally. So what in the world is going on there? Is there a lower path? Wow. Oh yeah, I never got to check this heart to heart, no, quiet moment. Let's give this a watch. Miss Tyrea seem like difficult sort of person to deal with. Difficult, huh? Maybe so, but she's still far more mellow than before. Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea know each other from where? Well, it's... It's a little complicated to explain. Complicated? How? Hmm. I'm just not quite sure where to begin. For one, Tyrea and I had never met until one year ago. Houses too far apart, or...? I was not allowed to venture outside. Moreover, I never even knew of her existence. She, on the other hand, seemed to know about me. We... We never met because work had been busy. But how Miss Melia never know of? If sisters, then of course should know. That's true. How can I explain this? Tyrea and I have separate parents. Different fathers and different mothers, both. Meme! In same boat as Nene and Kino then! Just like you and Kino, Tyrea and I are not related by blood. But we had a half-brother with whom we shared a parent each. Half-brother? Hmm. No parents in common, but a brother we are both related to. Therefore, Tyrea and I are not exactly complete strangers. Me, me, me! Brain of Nene starting to melt! I'm sorry. I did say it's complicated. Nene does not understand. If both have same brother, why cannot be one family together? Our parents being different, I and Tyrea have led very different lives. We never even met, let alone behaved as a family. Neither knows how to relate to the other, and so we struggle on. 
It sounds like Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea both feeling more like Kino. How do you mean? Kino also not talk to anyone at first. Very Heidi shy shy. I don't think I'd call myself or Tyrea shy exactly. If you want to become good friends, but not know how to put in action, then it's exactly the same. Hmm. But as can see for self, now Nene and Kino super best of friends. Do tell, how did you two achieve that? Would you teach me the way, please? Answer is clear as day. Nene prescribed lots of play play. Play play? Also, sharing of yummy snacks and sleep together in the same bed. If do that, become family in wink of eye. I'm not sure I can do that with Tyrea. Seems like a lot. Meh! Nene patience is exhaust! Miss Melia want to be sisters with Miss Tyrea or not? Uh, yes. I would really like that, I think. So? Now is best and only chance! No time for hemmings and whorings! Best and only? Hmm? Perhaps you're right. Okay, then now Miss Melia go and say, Hey, Sister Bon, come play! <gasps> right now? I need some time to compose myself. Oh, if Miss Melia must, but I have to promise to ask soon. Yes, I will. One day very soon. Huh. Can't believe I didn't fall just then. These quiet moments are just sweet. It's probably not inside, is it? Oh, they're both here. Oh, hi there! Talking to Radzim has been a great help in my research. He understands why it's important. I'm sure he will be willing and able to help you all, too. Yes? This lab's in quite the inconvenient location, even if it is normally for the benefit of the research. That's why we make regular supply, eh, supply runs to Grandel. It also helps us stay in touch with the ongoings there. She actually spoke to us without it being with malicious intent. Over ah! Rose, babe. Right to the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cutscene, here we come. Nice. Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Radsum lives within these walls. Ah, friends of Teelan's, are you? We've been expecting you. Go on, in you get. You're letting us straight through. You don't look particularly concerning, is all. These walls are imposing, but they aren't here for controlling foot traffic. They're to keep savage monsters from having themselves a rampage. Most sensible. Well, we'll be going then. Thankings! Sorry for time taking.
Hmm? Some monsters only come out during a thunderstorm or at night, and so on. That's what I've heard anyway. Melly at you! We stopped to talk for one moment, and you drop kick the air and fall flat on your butt. If you want to challenge them all, you might have to ch go out and look even in the foulest weather. Sorry, but that's life. Oh, Melia. You're just silly. On we go. Another one of Potoro's fave. Quiet moment. Whoa, I can't view it. Thank you, burst plate. That's shocking. that mining up there? Yes it is! Pipe, 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 pipe! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Find! Find! Woo! We got him! We might really be able to wrap this up tonight and tomorrow. I'll see it movies. Uh. How's this map coming along? I'll really fill it out at some point. Over in the back. Quiet moment we'll be able to look out for after we pick up this quest. From Shushu. Me me me. Shushu is just looking at tree. The friends not need anything. Please get out of tuft of Shushu. Cannot tell anyone that fell from tree. Who ever heard of Napong girl who can't climb trees? Meh. So embarrassed. Oh. Interesting. Do I actually need Nene or Kino, maybe? <laughs> okay, that was actually it. It not look like just looking at tree face look almost pained expression. <laughs> How you know? Nene had brother pot of similar age to learn to read all sorts of signs. And something happens. Okay, well Shushu loved to climb trees. Climb every tree in area, sometimes twice. But then, Shushu stopped paying attention and get discovered by monsters. Luckily managed to climb up this tree just in time to escape from attack. But then, once monsters go away, Shushu sigh, breathes sigh of relief so deep, slip off branch and fall down. That when Shushu get hurt, and now cannot even move. Oh my goodness, and also somehow... Climb trees now feel very scary, dangerous. But who even hear of Napan that not climb trees? Not even a little bit right. But first, we should deal with the hurdy hurt. The heal hurdy hurdy is trivial part. Just need peppity herb. Ooh, jubilant. 
She should not need help. We'll get by fine on, on strength. Should not talk nonsense when they may offer help. Now please tell, where can I find Peppity Urbans? Meh. Nay, nay, pick Peppity Urban Stan. It grow on top of Cragmall Caverns. But that all Nay, nay wanted to hear, leave to Nay, nay, is teeny tiny deal. Is such a sweet being. Divine protect. Man, this really was a large area. We're going for a swim. Sploosh. Guess we can put the avatar back up. I might just opt out of using that model for a while, guys. That poor weasel's not really cut out for VTubing. Maybe one day if I can find somebody who can make me a nice weasel, either another 3D one or something 2D even, that could be cool, but oh gosh. Uh, before fear interrupted me, um, I was saying, I'm just not sure about it. It's just such a scuff model for streaming. It's not set up for that at all, honestly. Which is why I'm kind of wanting to opt out, especially for Xenoblade 3. I could see about, like, having somebody put me a PNG tuber together really quickly. Oh! Hi. Oh, that's horrible. Is it here because of night time, or what are you here for? Holy cow. Get Melia back. about that guy. We might be able to defeat it on its own, but it's going to be a pretty, pretty rough fight, probably still. I could tell its agility was up there. And that, I do not want. I don't like it having the high agility. another shot. Oh, there is a whole pond spec. Hey, where'd the mean one go? Oh, I thought it left for a second. How many will I draw this way? Okay, they just honed in on me, despite everything. 
putting my weapon away like it ended then. What the heck? I hope that was a nighttime enemy. I really, really do. Because that is something I definitely don't have enough gems for. I got to talk to you two here. Qualified, certified, grace and tech personified. Hot Inspector Tutu is name. Surveying new lands is game. Meh. Friends are fans of Tutu. Sorry to disappoint, but right now Tutu too busy with trouble. Not have time to autograph. Meh meh. Friends want details of trouble. Could be friends are actually mega fans of Tutu? Truth be told, Tutu dropped very important something on island in the middle of Tranquil Tarn here. Hmm, very important hand mirror. It becoming it important because if Tutu not behold on gorgeousness once in three minutes, cannot work from desperate lonely. Is part of personality. Currently staving off longing by behold in the surface of lake, but gorgeousness much diminished. And that when the fan friends come in. Please go to Pity Island for tid for Tutu. And find precious mirror also for Tutu. Please perform service for Tutu. Tutu will be waiting here, chasing eyes on slightly murky side of own face. Oh boy. Sounds like it would be... If it's an island, it should be over here, right? Maybe, maybe not? I don't know. Probably not. Clearly, it would be too easy if it were right here. Somebody's on land in that fence. Oh, that's not a fence. Heroes rest. Hmm. Huh. Sorry, Jeff. Hum the Hyantia, Machina, and even those adorable round not fun. We may all look different, but inside we're the same. Wise words. Bartholomew. Hmm. Hmm. Gah. What I do... What do I do to catch lots of fish, too? Uh, I don't know. I'm an adventurer. Is this one going to be viewable, eh? 
I haven't met the requirement. There's so many people in this area. Which makes sense, but it's still nice. Me! Roar, roar, rododo. This monster emerged from the ruins. Look wicked cooler, what? Ruin super cool to begin with, so an add monster effect is super wicked cool. Hello. See this spot here? We're gonna build a house here. Anyone get sick of living in a tent for all this time? That's why I'm clearing away the rubble since the plans to reuse local materials. Then once the house is done, me and my daughter can move in. That's the plan. Very nice. Oh, Pond Spectre. Come here, you. Oh, this is 1-1. One, one. We did it. We found the big guy. Qualified, certified, rest is classified. Pond Spectre Chief 1-1 one, one is named. Overseas surveying new lands is game. Meh. What Pond Spectre's all doing with these strange people? More important, why it takes so long for everyone to gather in a pointed meeting spot? Meh. Never receive such information? Won't one forget to impart? Oh. Hmm. Won't one want to go to find Pond Spectres and make up for a mission on South, but have wings full with other business? Meh meh, have idea. Could friends guide or rest upon specters to meeting spot? Probably all stuck in strange or sticky situation. Friends look like doing fine job so far. Surely is no extra bother. One would should be done with business by time pond specters all here. Can see some want to have word with one one, but we'll have to wait till everyone here. Naturally, there is little reward in store for helping one one. Cutscene. Looks the same as any Amu, if you ask me. Different subtle. Sure is. Really? Pardon me. Have you come from Companion's Cape, by any chance? We've just come from the laboratory. But we were at the Cape just before that. And was everyone there all right? Yes, it seemed to me. Thank goodness. That's a relief to hear. Is something wrong? You may be aware, but originally, we all lived here together, as a group. But then, some left because there are machina here. Exactly. At first, we managed to tolerate each other in relative harmony. Obviously, we had our share of friction. What happened? Well, the final straw was something trivial. The companions tried all sorts of ploys to retake the capital, but... None of the plans succeeded. Many soldiers were lost this way. One Machina had had enough, and told them to just give up. And that's when it happened? Yeah. They shouted, if you rust rats hadn't betrayed us, we wouldn't have lost our brethren and our homes in the first place. Things got heated, and then they left and didn't look back. They shouldn't have forgotten that we all lost friends, Family and homes. They're soldiers, ma'am. In the war, they put everything on the line for their country. And so... When their country was taken from them, the extent of their anger and resentment was fully understandable. Yes. 
Still, we who stayed behind don't bear them any grudges. They protected us all, for a long time regardless of race. And bear in mind, in the end, they didn't cast the Machina out. They left the safety of our walls of their own volition. That's why we pledged that if they chose to return, we'd welcome them back and meet them with a smile. I will do whatever is in my power to make it so. Day, day, white eyes, what inflammation of tear ducts. By the way, we have heard that someone by the name of Ratsum lives here. Ratsum? Yes, he lives over there. Over there. Thank you. Very kind. It was Ratsum, actually. He was the one who told the companions to give up their quest. Right. I see. All right. Let's go and see him straight away. Yes, let's. Just a strange hat, huh? Goodness, you look like a Gormati. Uh oh. Uh, uh. I don't really know how to talk to grown ups. Sorry. It's easier talking to kids, though, a little bit. The shy ones unite. Uh oh. Eh, hello. Uh, uh, oh, friend is shy too. Huh? I, uh, um, uh, must be shy like Kino. You have the same smell as Kino, so as a matter of fact. Yeah, I kinda get nervous easily. But it's no fun playing on my own. Uh, uh, uh? Then what if? What if Kino found friend for friend to play with? Really? I love that. Leave everything to Kino. We'll search town for best as possible friend. Make sure everyone happy. Any possible friendlings already in mind? Ah, uh, well, there is one person. I saw Celine looking out at the capital once. She looked awfully lonely. Also, there's a boy called Nestinor. I only ever talked to him once, but he lives near a lake, I think. And there's this super cute Napon, Rudado. I always wanted to talk to her. She seems to like ruins and stuff. I see. So, not sure if this is one of the quests where I kind of like pick, who I think would probably be a nice matchup for such a shy little creature. I feel like Celine would probably be good. Cause sounds like Celine could use a friend. Wow, I really just fell with no way back. That, that noise. That noise. Yeah, that's gonna be. That's like the new Fiora jump. No thank you, Kino. Okay. Wait, what? What is that? Somebody's moving with a quest. Get him! Can you get back here? 
Can you get back here with that, Quats? <laughs> no, you're right, Oda. That's right. Rawr, Rudo is hungry dino beast. Hungry for a friend who joined Rudo to and Dino for. Me. Is that all I needed to do? Oh, it's Kino now. Kino. Kino's in charge of this one. Me. Uh, question before eating off face. Friend no Angela? Because so happen Angela is looking for a new friend. How about go talk to? Rudo don't know Angela. Is Hom Hom girl not wrong? Rudo do and rule Hom Hom and Dino War. Rawr. And does that end that quest? That jump. It's so cursed. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, I feel like Celine's probably like the realest choice. We'll see though. What's your deal? Alright. <laughs> Meh meh. Can't find Hero Pon. Can't find Garantor Gar either. If I recall, Design Garantor was a young bird lady. Or designated, not design. Eh. <laughs> meh meh. You there, bird person. I remember you. You are Garantor of Hero Pon. Grantor? I don't know what you mean. No use denying. I don't know, I'm not find Hero Pond Ricky anywhere. So we'll have to extract repayment from designated Grantor. Huh? Pardon me? <laughs> Want to know what that entail? Standard way of repayment is. Drum roll. By provision of dessert. Specifically, Arara is after dessert that bigger than Arara. Sweet, golden, springy, and also tender. Okay. Kilo pumpkins and sweet cherry. That'll get me the rest of... Um... Melia's... Augmented gear. That's pretty cool, right? Shot. Hello. Bye. Fruit. Rafa. Cheek plate. Shucker. That should be good. World in 
under a stair. Wish they were lockable. I know it's probably not even important to keep those, but I feel like I want to keep those. Since they're like the ones they came here with. Good of you to come by. Mind if I ask for a spot of help? I could really use an assist right now. As you've probably gathered, we use those ancient structures for housing. When we first arrived, they were already deserted, ruined, almost uh, ruined beyond ruined almost beyond all hope of repair. We've been doing our best to keep things tidy, but with the march of time, the rubble starts to pile up. We'd like nothing more than to clear it out with hard numbers, but with our numbers, we can't shift the heavy stuff. That's where you come in. I <laughs> know I wasn't expecting you to drag it around all by yourselves. I was hoping you could get us some hover stone. Mm, that makes sense. It's a mineral with a levitational property. If we could use the rubble, or if we could lift the rubble using that, and a few pairs of hands, or a few pairs of hands would suffice. Man, I can't read. Hoverstone can commonly be found on Saltner Seal Island, Pillar Knoll, and the area of the Sculptor Lance. Scap. Scapular Lance? Hmm. Three pieces should be enough to make our work swift and easy. Yeah, that sounds like a good quest. That's amazing, being able to take care of all this rubble. Oh, here we go. Are you perchance Radson? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Thielen mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Thielen sent you. Him and Tyrea are still getting on, okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Thielen. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Ether field? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now, the Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there, to feed on the ether, and, as a result, keep the threat contained. Oh, this hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog Beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia? Would you do me a favor and head to Thielen's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, 
We heard that you spoke out against the Companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the Companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that... <laughs> the people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes. And with no means of return. Hmm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes. We were. That true? Hmm. But we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. Sounds like you're for Hero Bunkino! Just let Nene at him! Thank you, everyone. Mama Meh, what that thing? Huh. Is that. It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. Yikes. That looked dangerous. Unexpectedly difficult to traverse. <gasps> oh. But it certainly doesn't feel like it's not meant to be climbed.
They've still got the secret areas. Love it. Look at this up here. Look at those pond specters. Boop. Your secret area is landmarks? Yes, it is. Uh. I fear I approach my limit. Stay strong. Uh Assume girl with that name, but assuming is bad. Come and see. Hey, hey you, please go become a friend of Angela. Should be much more fun with more than alone. Hmm. You want me to be friends with Angela? Yeah, alright. I was getting bored of playing on my own anyway. Tell her I'll come and play. Yay! Are you that... Lady Winnie? She the Hums who fled here from Alcamo? For her when she first arrived in Grandel. She was broken physically and spiritually. She devotes herself to looking after the armies these days. Ah, oh, her. And she tries to put on a brave face. But I can tell. Sometimes there's this most vulnerable look in her eye. And I find it really. rather compelling. Pardon? Uh, sorry. Perhaps that was a bad turn of term of phrase? Bad turn of phrase? Is that right? I don't know. I just want to look after her. Alright, make sure she's safe. Alive. What you got going on, Lot? Huh? You want something from me? Your face has kind of had that look. Right. I see, that sounds rough. And you came from Companion Skate? Then I've got a question for you. On your way to Grandel, did you come across any hard looking rock or rare materials or anything like that? Uh huh. Oh well, still, thanks for telling me about that. Got something to talk to you about if that's okay. Hero Pankino will hear a friend out. Making tools for fixing and expanding the ramparts. I'd like to make them stronger. Oh. I'm not tough enough to track it down by myself. But since you knew all kinds of other materials, I figured, you know. Say, now I think about it, couldn't I just ask you lot to get it and bring it to me? It'd be way easier, right? The catalyst I want to use is near, it's found near Bow Ruins Cave. It's a stone people call the Cerulean Shard. As for your reward, maybe I could upgrade any tools you're carrying while I'm working on ours. I can work with anything. Like for example that ether pick you've got. How about it? But I could strengthen it to improve the output. So you could mine better stuff. Not too shabby, eh? That's exactly what I need. Heck yeah.
Very good, very good. We're making yeah. progress. I hope I'm not boring you guys. This game's just so chilled out right now. I'm just like taking it all in and enjoying it like always. Do your quest. What is it? Oh. Uh, she wants the shulk. The show. That's oh. a show. Well, can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. I just saw these mechanical parts and figured we might be able to use them to fix the junks. I'm sorry to disappoint, but everything you see here is little more than scrap. Can you tell me what parts you're looking for specifically? We need wiring to link up the generator and the drive system, as well as something to reinforce the hull. Sounds rather complicated. That said, I do have an inkling. You've seen high end tier airships before, right? Well, there are a few crash ones in Alcamo, just lying there. And you think we could strip them for parts? Just so. Although, I don't know what state they're in. You'll have to go and work that out for yourselves. Right, I see. I would have investigated them myself, but everyone else warned me off, saying it's too dangerous, so I relented. Still, from what I remember of my preliminary study, I think there should be three of the machines left. Understood. Thank you for sharing the information with us. Oh, uh, one moment. I may have a request to go with all that. There are actually some parts I need too. Would you mind terribly finding them for me and bringing them all back together? Of course, that's no problem at all. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear you ask. What I need is a palm sized cog. Understood. We'll keep. Our eyes out for one of those. That was it. I thought I was going to have a list of stuff. Okay. Still haven't figured out where exactly that is. Seems ever so slightly difficult to get up in there. I want to though. I feel like that's the last kid for Kino's quest. Surely it's up and around, right? Sure. Do I need to go through the water and like under or something? This isn't going well. Please to hang in there. So it wasn't for Kino's quest, but that's good to have. Hey, they're away. I have no idea if that was the proper method for getting here. <laughs> Don't fall. Okay. 
I guess falling is the answer. Unless. Cause there's like water out there too. Figure this area out sooner or later. Are you the arts manual? Yes. Prodigal. Ancient dragon legends. What in the world? Like basically transmog, I guess. Monado. Ho ho ho. Oh my. Is that what I just bought? Holy cow. Why didn't I put those on? What was I thinking? Am I wearing it now? Because there's a noise suppressor and that one's not that important anymore. But that Rudra hood, for sure. Those are cool. And I guess I can get the other ones for different color variations. Wait, what? Haven't looked at your Aerith type 2. Shiny as always. Huh. Fancy. That Prodigal type's pretty darn cool. Do our not pond friends get to use it? Seems like it's just gonna be modern style for her. Wasting so much time right now. Let me get back to it. Alright, so the quest from out of here, pretty much done. So I guess that's the last friend back here behind the water. So 
let's just go ahead and get Kino switched over. They're playing. How things? Actually, this one's actually getting water. So you've come from Thielen's laboratory, have you? You know, Thielen's about the same age as my little boy. Oh, can I tell you an anecdote? Anecdote. Before everyone knew, Thielen has a huge bug maniac. Even now, whenever he visits Grandel, him and my boy talk bugs for hours. Isn't that nice? Oh, you're a pawn specter friend. I was gonna say I saw at least two around here before, but maybe they're both already with you. Sorry, I'm still not great at telling Nakon apart from one another. Oh, but I do know about the three different flag colors. That's helpful, right? Yes. Ugh. So much to do. What just happened there? I think that was the time change, wasn't it? Yeah, that person was definitely right here. Why not? Good morrowings. Kino in process of look for new friends for Angela. What friend think? Know who Angela is? Angela? Yeah, I know her. We only talk once, I think. But I've been wanting to hang out with her. Mission complete. Sweet cherry. Look. That jump noise, why? Who was able to make their voice do that? <laughs> Ooh, tax ability. Now we're getting spicy. Apparently, that's been a very good gem that I didn't even realize was really good. Probably gonna slap that on the Donato in a bit. You still need your item. Oh, that's not what it's pointing me towards. Shoo shoo. So much stuff. I've got to find that Nopon's hand mirror. I'm saying a little confuzzled as to where that might be. I'm not used to the Pond Spectre's quest being so far off of where they were. That person's working hard. Okay. Nothing's how it was when you were on. Back then we could still live in Alchemoth, courtesy of the Guard Regiment, but then that whole Fog King thing happened. Oh, like thinking about it makes me feel thick.
Hello. Hi there. It is. This is so strange. Where could it have gone? Meh? What is his problem? Melia. What is problem? Rumbly tum tum? Kino, what dad upon do in such situation? I've been tending to these wheat fields, but for some reason the gross stimulant has mysteriously vanished. Or disappeared. We're struggling enough with the poor harvest as is. Without that stimulant, I don't know what we'll do. It used to be Leonor who was in charge of managing the stimulant. But he's moved away from Grandel now. Kind of left us in the lurch here. Obviously, we need enough food if our community here is to thrive. It'd be great if you could help us out if you're thinking of volunteering. I need to I need you to collect high leaves and thick nectar for me, then we can process them into growth stimulants. I've heard that high leaves grow all over the biotic shoulder, so there shouldn't be an issue. As for thick nectar, you can probably get some from the skeeters around since we'll throw it there when the weather is nice. Did I just decline it? Oh. Hi there. That was dumb. What's this red marker over here? Is it just an item? It's probably just an item. Probably the high leaf she was talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh god, was it? Heat sink. That takes care of a lot of the stuff over here. Let's turn in Kino's quest. Once I remember where I'm going. Okay, why was I doing that wrong? Look at all of them here to play. I I finally have friends. Everyone says they're gonna play with me. I'm so happy. Thank you, Kino. Thank you so much. Oh, I did nothing. It was a little piece of falling cake for Kino. Just ask Kino for second helping of help any time. <laughs> Maybe I will. Here, have this. And let's play together sometime, okay? Isn't this is just lovely. Woo! Pardon? Ah. Oh, look at them go. What are they doing? I swear this is a Gormati. Even those mannerisms are like Gormati. Are you sure that's a hum? So where is this leading us to? Way back over by the Sultan Seal. Okay. 
Wow, there's a lot of red markers. I feel like a lot of that's just high leaves. This way. Maybe I'll figure out the way over there. Ooh, it is special. There's one of the entrances I was thinking about. I knew it. Who's gonna be here? I see a person on the map. Old King's Testament. Uh, that's a unique as it might be. Something I want to mess with. It's not incredibly high level. Comes back very quick though, which is interesting. I might still need to place her kind of strange though. Ugh. At the very least I could tell that's more appropriate. Because this definitely takes the longest by far. Eh. Um, 26, 24. Yeah, that's not bad. They're about the same. else. 
sure. A little bit of mind blast. Yeah, now these are all good to go, which is interesting. Let's get Shadow Eye up. We know that's strong. Even though I try not to use it, let's give it a little love. That's all for him. Nene. Damage. So strong. Lots of strength. What else? Sword drives all good. Hammer beat. I mean, sure, Larry, why not? Done. Okay. Got the thing from there. But it's down there. We'll figure that out in a bit, huh? I feel like whatever I fall into is going to be death. Somewhat. Just do it before I mess with anything. Tackle up. So I would love some of the upgrades for the pick. So that took care of that quest. Eventually I need to get down there one way or another. Kind of am... So what is this area that I need to get to? It's like that lower level. So back down through the cave and out the other side. Yeah, I'm not worried about you right now. You do your thing. So rather than going in the cave, I think I just got around it. Which is something I never did earlier. Silly me, silly me. Can't believe it's still chasing me. Yep. Wait. Yeah, no, I haven't done this yet. I think I started too earlier when I met her here. The army herder. Yeah, we're doing something new. So much area. I just love walking around in this game. I'm gonna get to do it all again in three. Not to mention, this is a new experience for me right now. So I'm like really trying to feel out how important this game is to Xenoblade 3. So I'm hoping to wrap it up tomorrow. Photoros favorite. Ah, ah, run away, dinos. Run even faster now. Ah. I'm so scared. There's actually a lot of hostiles here. Probably gonna wipe me out, aren't you? 
so much stuff getting involved. Oh, that really put me back. Put me back quite a bit. That wasn't even fair. That was like, actually really messed up. That was a lot of enemies that freaking just decided I should not exist any longer. I really don't feel like I even aggroed them like that. Am I going the right... Oh, I gotta go past here. Jeez. I don't understand why so many things got caught up in that battle. Let's try that again. Got the item. Oh, that was just one of the hover stones. What else? Here it goes even further than that. So much to explore. Oh, this is that lower area that I saw way earlier. That tortoise will attack me, so please don't turn. I hope there's another landmark. It's hard to tell. It's kind of huge, so I think there's a landmark in or past the water. Or in front of the water, I guess, rather. Is that water? Am I blind? It looks like water, but it's probably just dirt. It's dirt. Wow, this area is pretty... 
pretty dead. A little bit dead. It's a little spooky down here. Oh my. Yeah, I see why it's forbidden, that's for sure. This place is horrifying. Is that a glowy over there? I think it is. I'll just take these if you don't mind. Spike defense. I was totally looking for that. Of course. Yeah. They're gonna fight it out. I would watch. That would be cool to watch. Jump. Didn't make it. Another necropolis? Cory Con Colendale. Did I read that right? Colendale? Zekmaga Quarry. I feel like I am spoiling stuff quite thoroughly for myself right now. Look at this area. Oh, no, leave me be, please. I don't want this. Go away. Hey, it left me. Okay, well that's awesome to have all of this filled out. Um, that is up top, I believe, I hope. all those red marks over there, let's just grab them. If they're there to be grabbed. That way my map will hopefully clear up. It's literally just that blue right there. Boom. And now we'll have a lot more clarity. So there's actually something there. Check out what's over here. Is that easily accessible? Yeah, it is. Another Potoro's favorite. that location? Is it the Highland? Or the Necropolis, I mean, that I should go to? It's kind of what it looks like to me. Start high and then go low if it's needed, rather than going low and starting to have to work my way up. Clear guy bluff. Keep chasing. Could probably beat these gluttony. Maybe.
I'll get around to that eventually. What is that? What did I miss there? Is it a fave? Come from. It's a lot of enemies. I know you're a problem. You are all over the place always. I got the fave, so. I don't mind leaving. Coming back another time. Because I am certainly not set up for um, big group fights. Oh my goodness. And I'm stuck. And they're boxing me in too? Goes off on me and teleport. Oh, of course. Goodness, they are horrible. All right, let's go get that cutscene. What is happening over there?
Shulk. The fog beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Very true. Oh no, Grandel. Ah. What is matter? The Armus could turn into fog beasts. Me, me, no one to picture that. Must hurry to rescue. Yeah, that's not good. Well, we're here. Let's get this. Goodness. Set. Why am I doing the big map? I think whatever one of those is to the side. Yeah, favor. No, that was actually the Hoverstone, and then I guess that's a favorite up top. Turn that in. Did I get it all? Huh, huh. That's totally red while that's like orange over there. I could have had this pod inspector this whole time. What have I been doing? But at least nobody caught me slacking. I should probably be resting soon to prepare for my first day of work. To to thank friends for fetching mirror. Now can finally focus on pond inspecting. As thanks, to to will share untold story of how pond specters were formulated. A long time ago, Tutu and few comrades surveyed numberless lands on behalf of Archaeology Center and Frontier Village. As fame spread far and wide, more and more comrades apply to join until guild of professional pond specters come into be. Meme, now that Tutu have chance to take good look, is that face of Tutu and Tutu? See looking back? Well, why not say sooner? If friends have ten to in tow, then must mean everyone. Goal is aligned. Two two, come seek moon moon also. Hmm. One two three four five six more to go. That's all I've done so far. To Grandel. Oh no, it's already getting bad. Your instinct was right, Melia. Yes. Although, the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Ratson, are you-
you fine? Miss Melia, these are moves. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right you are. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real hereupon never has compensation. Or it say that? Shulk, was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Yikes. Huh. Oh. What are those? Oh my goodness, more new quests. I'll probably wrap up here in Grandel. I think that's what I'll try to do. Uh, hey. Perfect, the hover stones. I don't really want to stay here forever, but it'll be nice to make the place set a little bit... Huh? Yeah, it'll be nice to make the place that little bit more tolerable in the meantime. For another thing, it seems to me to be a good deed... Oh, I cannot read. It'll be. I think I'll definitely wrap up soon, so if I can refocus myself. For another thing, it seems to me to be a good deed to leave it neater than we found it. Not all tumbled down and derelict. I'm sure people who once lived here would hate to think of their old homes as overgrown piles of rubble too. In any case, the area should be getting a lot nicer very soon. And it's all thanks to you. I really appreciate it. Very good. Very awesome. Most cool. Now to go talk to the miner guy. I'll just be taking that. All right. You that look dusty from the road. Any chance you found my Chris or catalyst? Yes, that's it. Thanks, bunches. I knew I was onto something when I asked you lot for help. Right, let's get the good to the good part. Let me meet. Oh, lend me your ether pick, won't you? 
Sorry to keep you waiting. What do you think, huh? Sleek form factor, right? You can feel the power at a distance. There are ether deposits in Grandel too, so feel free to test the improvements out for yourselves. Yay! Reinforced ether pick. Seems great. Oof. Let's see, I should like get threes and fours, right? Maybe a five occasionally. Four. Four. Nice. I'm feeling it. Who's this? Mayu. I guess fixing Machina is just like repairing normal machines. I wish I knew someone who was good at that. Okay, through it. Hi. Hey, could you hear me out? You see, my granddad is a Machina. Huh? Does that mean that you're a... Uh... No, no, I'm just a regular Hums. I guess granddad isn't actually my actual granddad but he helped me when I got separated from my parents during the war we've been together ever since ah right okay you must feel like you owe him a lot yeah also because when the army was turned into fog beast and attacked he shielded me with his body but his leg got broken Hey, mister, you know machines and stuff, right? Could you fix my granddad? Repairing a machina, huh? Maybe the first aid kit from the junks would help. Really? That's great. Please do your best. I'll owe you forever. Yeah. Sounds great, we'll get to do that afterwards. I hope they're not having a scuffle. Come and see. We're all out looking for this one flower, but it, what if it doesn't even grow anywhere in Grandel? Oh yeah, if you have time, could you talk to Nestinor about it? I think he'd appreciate the help. Me! Flowery pops, flowery pops, oh, flowery, flowery pops. Oh my. Rudodo and friends looking for flowers, but right now taking breaks. Uh oh. Uh, um, we're looking for flowers, but we can't find any. Hello. Uh, this is the worst. Maybe Grandel just doesn't have any. Oh, it's you. Can I... Can I ask you for a really big favor? Sounds like a problem. I've got Celine and the gang helping me pick flowers for a crave, but we can't find the right kind anyway. It's the Dawn Smile I'm looking for. It's a really pretty color, and it actually does look like the sky at dawn. They say it grows in high up places, with a lot of sun, so I thought Lamentation Bridge would be a good bet. But the guards warned me not to go outside Grandel Ramparts because it's too dangerous, so now I'm stumped. It's the only flower that'll do for the grave. Oh please, could you look for some dawn smiles for me, please? How about all that? We're killing it. <clears throat> but I'm quite unsure about my new and upcoming schedule, so... I am gonna start wrapping it up so I can take it easy and get some quite possibly needed rest. Hopefully the game isn't incredibly long. It's hard to tell. Feels like I could have another five hours to go. 
I'm kind of expecting 20 hours. That's just my guess, though. So we'll see. We shall see, we shall see. <clears throat> Let's return to the title screen, even. Yeah. Oh, how great, how great. I'm so excited. I'm happy to be back. Playing some Xenoblade. So... As always, I'll keep y'all updated in the Discord server for any upcoming plans. I used my Twitter for the first time today. And uh, I think I'll try to use it, you know, just to like put announcements for like, you know, going live out there and stuff. I don't know how active I'll be on Twitter. I'm not too huge on Twitter, but. It's certainly another option, and I will try to also send out alerts there if people like Twitter. So, eventually, instead of just Discord, I'll have a socials command, but right now it's just Discord. So, if you are interested in joining our server, feel free to go ahead and follow that link. But, with all that done... I think we've had an awesome stream. I look forward to more tomorrow. I definitely plan to stream more tomorrow. So long as the workday doesn't actually destroy me. I really hope it doesn't. Because we've got a lot of Xenoblade to do. But again, that is what the Discord will be for. I will definitely let you guys know how everything's going tomorrow in there. So, I hope you guys have wonderful nights, but for now, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.